Hello folks, uh, someone recently left me a comment on the Tableau and Cognos integration video asking if I could show how to do the same with business objects. Uh, seems to be pretty straightforward. Uh, let me go ahead and show you the same. I'm going to replicate what I've done here basically. Up here is my, uh, in the da Tableau dashboard is a map which is showing data from actually the eFashion universe. I've actually downloaded data into an Excel and that's what I'm using. And down here uh, when I click on the state, uh, it's actually calling the passing on the value to the business objects report and uh, you're seeing further details on the state down there so let's go ahead and try to do the same uh, quick look at what I have I'm not going to recreate this but uh, a quick look at uh, what I have in the business objects report here's my report and uh, actually you know what let me go ahead and recreate it I'll quickly show you you can skip this step if you like uh, new Web Intelligence Report. Select my eFashion Universe. State, City, and uh, maybe I'll select Lines. And in Measures, I'm going to select the Sales Revenue. Put in a prompt on the state and uh, actually a filter and a prompt. For my prompt, I'm going to have the text enter state and uh, I'm going to make it an optional prompt. Just say OK. Run this. Since it's an optional prompt, I'm not going to enter any value. Move it up a little bit. Okay, save my report. Sales report. Save. Uh, it's important that you remember the value of the text that you have here in your prompt. In my case, uh, I have said enter state so basically when I run report that's the value that you get prompted here I'm not gonna run it again but uh, save this report with the name sales report after that let me go in here again my favorites go in here right click and say document link copy this link I'm gonna put it in notepad here to replace the name with the IP address that might be relevant for you because for you you're probably within the corporate network and you should be able to get it by the same name that you get from the URL anyways let me paste it up here to show you what happens when I paste the URL in the browser you get the report and uh, we want to try and call this from Tableau let's go ahead and create a new Tableau report file new Connect to data. Excel. Pick up this uh, data from an Excel file. Go to Sheets. Drop in State and Revenue. And I'm going to say Fill the Map. Now go ahead and create a dashboard. the top of the dashboard I want the sheet I'm gonna close all these legends here and uh, just to make it look a little better I'm gonna drop the state on the color also and probably the state on the label and not the revenue okay go back to my dashboard At the bottom of the dashboard is what I want uh, the webby report. I'm going to post the same URL that I had earlier which I had copied from here right. I'm going to paste it in this edit URL click on OK and I'm actually getting prompted in your case hopefully you have single sign on and you do not get prompted. Uh, 
I'm gonna put this off unfortunately it looks like there's no way to uh, you know by default put it off it's it's you could just put it off from how I showed you right here you could do it from within here also right you modify the report and do the same that I'm doing here go to side panel and put it off and then save it it looks like there's no way to hide the toolbar on the top if you know of a way feel free to leave me a comment okay that is done now comes the part where we're going to try and connect the two so the value from up here gets passed on to your web report so what you do for that is dashboard actions add action url page the same url again and you need this portion where it says ambassand l s n s prompt text in our case it is enter state so actually i have it here too enter state copy that towards the end of your url you just see i copy that towards the end of the url with an equal to sign and then i'm going to select from this option here i'm going to select state and instead of menu I'm gonna say select okay okay and once I do that and I click on any state it passes on the value to the business subject stash uh, webby report and uh, you can see details on that state yeah uh, that was a quick look at it once more quickly go to the report right click on it uh, get the document link copy the document link and uh, when you add your URL uh, what's that the web page within the web page you want to add that as a URL and then go to dashboard actions add action URL add the same thing I'm not going to change it but uh, in that URL you put in that URL with the state thank you hope this was helpful